hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to find the area of the triangle with these three given vertices as you can see in this diagram so let's go ahead and get started the very first step is going to be so as you can see i have used three different colors to represent these three vertices i did that one to make sure that I could explain this topic in a much simpler way. So this three and five, I'm gonna call this one X1, Y1, and then the second vertex, I'm gonna call it X2, Y2, and the third vertex, I'm gonna call it X3 and Y3. And in this step, what I did is uh, I put these these are uh, these vertices are in a horizontal position i converted them into a vertical position as you can see these one so i converted them as a vertical position and likewise over here and here's the formula that we will be using to calculate the area of the triangle angle so finally, let's go ahead and find the area of the triangle by simply filling out this box. By the way, this box that has uh, these two vertical lines is called determinant. So this box is called determinant. Let's go ahead and fill out these entries from these numbers. And here I filled out all these columns over here as you can see these red numbers showed up in two different columns as you can see the blue one showed up in the left hand side once and the green one once on the right hand side let's go ahead and do the next step i want you to put a minus sign in between these two numbers always always the minus sign in between let's go ahead and now simplify this one so over here the area is going to be one over two times let's simplify this determinant three minus four makes negative one and then three take away one is two that's going to make four and that makes five and now we're going to find the value of this determinant by using this fact as you can see over here by just simply crisscrossing these numbers so it's going to become a times d minus b times c so let's go ahead and take care of that one over here this is i'm going to just put it over here i want you to multiply this way negative one times five is negative five and then you always put a minus sign and then you multiply the other way around that's gonna be four times two is eight negative five and negative eight makes negative 13. so the value of this determinant turns out to be negative 13. so i can write this one over here one over two times negative 13 that's gonna give us negative 6.5 and as you can see over here this is a negative number and we must always make it a positive because area is always positive thus the area of the triangle turns out to be a 6.5 square units Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.